Tronda versus Jaina. You ask for it, and you only give me strength. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep Akanai Circle against a mage. I guess I'll keep it just in case things get out of hand. I don't want to mind blast him, so I guess I pass the turn. Let's make magic. I don't want to mind blast him, so I guess I pass the turn. Looks like this is probably just going to be a standard tempo mage. The choice here is either Akanai Circle this turn, or just wait until next turn when I can play Excavated Evil. Only 6 damage, right? I'll just hold and play Excavated next turn. Akanai and Circle are more flexible cards. I guess there's some benefit to holding onto those. Well, this doesn't look good. Oh, okay, it's just a torch. Maybe I should have played Akanai Circle last turn. Maybe I should still play Akanai Circle this turn so I can flash heal myself. But then the Excavated Evil is so bad. And if I'm so desperate that I want to flash heal myself, I don't really want to leave an Akanai on the board. So I guess I'll just play the Excavated Evil and hope I don't die here. He needs more than Fireball. He needs multiple cards to kill me. I actually don't know if he can kill me this turn. Unless it was like Ice Lance shenanigans. I definitely need to do some amount of healing this turn. The question is do I play the Flash Heal? The Flash Heal could be pretty good with the Akanai later on if I happen to stabilize. It can help me kill him with Velen or it can just heal me with Velen. And turn 8 Velen Flash Heal myself might be pretty nice. I think it's just a little bit too greedy to hold the Flash Heal. I was fairly likely to die that turn if I didn't play it. Fireball Frostbolt. He hasn't played a Fireball. I don't know if he's played both Frostbolts. I don't think he has. There was also like Roaring Torch stuff that could kill me. I think I need to I Circle these guys. Can't leave them up on the board. Priest of the Feast can be a pretty nice stabilization tool in the coming turns. I could also Entomb the Flame Waker, but that doesn't really seem too worth it to me. I'm just gonna heal up and then I Circle. I'm going to hold Power Word Shield to combo with Priest of the Feast, and I don't want my Akanai to live longer anyway. If he plays like a babbling book this turn, I'll probably just trade my Akanai into it just because I want it to die so I can actually heal myself. I'm pretty happy that he's killing my Akanai for me. I guess maybe he feels that at this point we're going into more of a value game than him just straight up burning me. So maybe I can take that hero power usage as a read that he doesn't have like multiple fireballs in his hand. So I actually have a couple of plays here. I can go either Velen Power Word Shield. I'll have a 7-9 on the board, which isn't that likely for him to be able to kill. Although he did just play a Kabbalist Tome. So maybe he has like Flame Lance or something. Otherwise I can just go Priest of the Feast Double Power Word Shield. Heals me up for quite a bit. Let's me cycle a little bit more, and I get to hold the Velen for a possible OTK, or at least a big burst. I think the turn that I play Velen, I want to get something out of it, other than just the body. And this actually gives me more health on board. Kinda silly. Hopefully he didn't get a Polymorph from his Cabalist Tome. At least his hero power got forced out since the missiles didn't hit perfectly. 
So do I just play Velen here? Heal up for four? Gets rid of kind of most of my lethal options. But I do still have Yogg and Medivh in the deck. I can play kind of a longer value game. On the other hand, I have a lot of removal in my hand, so I'm not really forced into doing anything here. I can still play reactively for several turns. Nice. I can Shadow Word Pain that guy. Yeah, I think I do just play the Shadow Word Pain here. That secret is pretty scary. If there was no secret, Velen, Holy Smite, Hero Power would be really nice here. But if that secret happens to be a mirror entity, I feel pretty bad. Although, I guess if I go for the Velen play, I also get punished by Counterspell, Spellbender, and to some extent Effigy. I think the Velen play is actually just bad. Maybe I just Akunai Circle here, but also gets punished by several of those. Okay, so it's not Counterspell, Mirror Entity, or Effigy. If I knew what the secret was, it was better to heal myself and then play Akunai. But if it was Mirror Entity, it was better to play Akunai and then leave myself with the option to hero power down his Akunai. Looks like I'm dead here, though. Maybe it's Vaporize. Well, I guess I need to heal up with Velen. Looks like I can't heal up with Velen. I think I'm dead here. I had to kill off my Hawk and Ice so I could heal though. Oh man, I might not be dead. Oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Soul of Forest is gonna hurt. Oh, the silence is good though. cards are good against warrior. Probably none of them because I'm playing priest. So actually between this game and last game we got the Yogg-Saron nerf so it'll be interesting to see what happens if I can actually play this game. At this rate, I might play a card on turn 6. My hand is actually potentially pretty sick with Embrace the Shadow double flash heal. That would all go down to 1 mana. Velen is 7, and Mind Blast is 2, that would be 30 damage. But he's a warrior. So, 30 damage isn't going to be enough. Nine cards in hand. I'm just going to pass here instead of playing Thorison. He's up to ten cards, so he has to do something. I don't want to just give him an easy shield slam or something.
Four six is actually kind of hard for me to deal with. I wonder if I just go Akanai Circle, Hero Power it down. It's kind of a bummer because then I can't resurrect my Thorison. Because my Akanai will have died. Maybe I just play the Thorison here. Although I guess even playing the Thorison here, if I have to clean up with Akanai next turn, it still might be hard for me to res the Thorison. So Akanai Circle Hero Power is 5, and then I can still res after that. That's pretty nice. I think that is the route that I want to take. Akanai Circle. And then this should get Thorison back. Buff Thorison so he's harder to kill. Oh, there's Velen. At this rate, I can actually go Velen, double Mind Blast, and Brace double Flash Heal. 40 damage. Please hit me in the face, Rag. I actually don't know if that was good. Like I said, hit me in the face, but now that I look at it, I took a lot of damage doing that. But that's why we have Priest of the Feast in the deck, right? I think it makes most sense to put this on Thorson, because then I have a minion that's out of range of Rag if it happens to hit it. Plus, Thorson is just pretty good, right? Entomb was a nice pickup. I had two Entombs, two Shadow or Deaths. Ravaging Ghoul. That's so many cards. He already used coin though, so Emperor's not dying. I'm getting so many discounts. I love it. Wait, do I have lethal? Velen, Embrace, Double Flash Shield is 20, 24, 20. What? Wait, is my Priest of the Feast gonna kill me? It'll deal 18 damage to me, I think. I hope I know how these cards all work. Not all are lost. Oh, it doesn't double my Priest of the Feast? It's only spells and hero powers, I guess. I did it! I won a game with Priest. Definitely don't want these cards. Do I keep Excavated Evil if I assume he's playing Zoo? I would rather have, what, Akanai Circle, Embrace the Shadow Circle, Shadowward Pain, Priest of the Feast. I think I am going to keep Excavated Evil. I can coin it out on four. And I need board clears against Zoo. Not a great board clear against Zoo. He passed his turn one, so he might not be Zoo. Looks like he's not Zoo. My deck might be pretty good against a Control Warlock. They just tap themselves to death and then I kill him with Velen. Imp Gang Boss doesn't give me any information. You play that card in every Warlock deck. I could play Embrace the Shadow Flash Shield here, but I think that's a poor use of my resources. The Imp Gang Boss only does 2 damage a turn. Not that big a deal on its own. Okay, that gives me a lot of information. I have to imagine it's also a Reno list. My Excavated Evils are pretty shit in this matchup. I think I'm just gonna heal pass. I could clear with Embrace the Shadow Circle here, but it's just not that much pressure. He only out damages my hero power by 3 a turn with this board. I could have also played Shadowward Pain. Maybe it was a good idea to play Shadowward Pain just to stop his Cthune from growing. I should have done this last turn. Because the Twilight Elder only buffs the Cthune plus one per turn. So if I had left the Cthune at seven, 
He would still need two more Cthune cards for his Vecklor to be up. And Vecklor is like the most difficult card for Priest to deal with. This is a really, really good Thorison. If I Thorison this hand, I just win whenever I draw Velen. Thorison is so good here. His board doesn't contest it well. It discounts like four combo pieces. That was a really good response from him, though. Now his Cthune's up to 10. If I had killed the Twilight Elder sooner, it wouldn't be at 10 yet. I'd have a lot more breathing room this game. Do I have to play in Tomb on a Twilight Drake? What? Feels kind of shitty. I guess I'm going to. It's just impossible for me to deal with a Twilight Drake. I think I have to use one of my flash shields here, which kind of sucks. Decreases my burst by quite a bit. At least I drew the Auchanize, so I don't have to use up my Embrace. I hope I'm not dead. I don't think there's much difference between 5 and 7 health. But I guess 5 and 6, since I would have had to leave the Imp alive. I'm in pretty bad shape now. There's the Velen one turn too late. Or I guess, was it even good enough last turn? It wasn't good enough last turn, I didn't have enough mana. Is the coin relevant? Coin means the second Mind Blast is lethal whenever I draw it. I was considering going like double excavated coin hero power to heal myself up a bit. But I don't think I need to do that anyway. He didn't have three damage last turn, he's not gonna have five damage this turn. Pretty unusual that he's gone so long without tapping. His plays on curve have been pretty good, though. I guess I just have to double excavate it here. Can't really leave the Thorison up. Hopefully next turn I draw Mind Blast, or I just draw something that I can heal up with Priest of the Feast. Until I draw the second Mind Blast, four of the cards in my hand are dead. Yes, tap. No, don't play that Vecklor. Vecklor's OP. I've had Thoris and die this game, and an Akanai. Wow, it would suck if I resurrected the Akanai. Wait, do I have lethal? I keep forgetting that I can use my hero power with Velen. Not all are lost. I hope I didn't miss lethal last turn. I'd sure feel like a dick if I did. 